you know, we do, we give 110%. Everybody on the team does everything they can. And when there's a bad outcome, you're, you're devastated for a while. You turn to each other and you do, you question, you, mm -hmm. you look at your processes. Is there something we could have done different? Is there something we didn't know? And sometimes it's just the patient was just too sick. It's one patient I still remember. I remember the room he was in. Um, he was a cardiac arrest and had a big family. And um, they're just wonderful people. I had, uh, you know, become really close to him and his family and stuff. And um, we were walking him in the unit and he started having a lot of chest pain. And he had grabbed my hand and we were talking and he had told me that he appreciated everything that we had done for him. He ended up passing and that has always stuck with me. You know, I was a pretty much a brand new nurse and I, I realized, well, you know, this is life and death. You have to give yourself time to, to sit down and really feel it. That's really hard to do because I found the more high acuity nursing, the less they want to do that, which is where they need it the most. It's a defense mechanism. And it's this thing, I'm, I'm tough, I can get through this. I don't need any help. Your family, your, your ER family, you get together, you talk. Uh, if you need to take a break, you go ahead and do it. At the end of the day, sometimes we'll sit on the way out. Well, it was really, really a hard day, wasn't it? I had one patient who, I was with her for two demises. Um, and then a live birth, so that was um, exciting but scary. I almost didn't want to be her nurse the third time. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this, but I guess what made me feel good as, as a nurse and as a person is when I walked into her room that third time, she said, I'm so thankful it's you. And I just thought, that, that says something that I was able to help her walk through that hard part.